Hi there folks, it's Matt Hayson here looking at this week's property market. Well, the RBA, they have decided to leave the cash rate on pause this month, leaving it at 3.6%. Now this is following 10 consecutive cash rate increases. Now, as you can imagine, when the RBA does pivot like this, there's been these immense number of headlines dissecting this latest move from the RBA. But in fairness, most market forecasters and the futures market had factored in that the RBA would in fact leave the cash rate on pause during the month. Now this does raise the question, what will be the next move from the RBA? When we look at the futures market now, that's actually factoring in that we have hit a peak in this lifting cycle, leaving the cash rate at 3.6%, at least until around September, where cuts are then inspected. Now the NAB, they've come out, they've flagged it, they've said we've hit the peak of the lifting cycle, but they have also flagged that risks do remain. Now the RBA boss, Governor Phil Lowe, he's not buying into any of this. He's suggesting that it is far too early to have any discussion about cutting the cash rate this year, and has also flagged that further tightening may still be required. However, SQM Research, Louis Christopher, he's come out during the week and now scratched off scenario number four from his 2023 boom and bust report. Now this was the most negative scenario if that did unfold. And you can see here fairly noticeable price declines if that scenario did play out. So that's now leaving the remaining three scenarios. And you can see here for Sydney property prices, they will remain either stable or not experience modest growth. Now the AFR, they've also come out and suggested with this latest positive move from the RBA that a swarm of buyers are gonna come into the market. However, we're not experiencing any shortage of buyers attending our open home inspections. Quite the contrary, what we are actually experiencing is a shortage of new listings coming to market. So from our perspective, we'll be looking to see whether or not this positive move actually entices more sellers to bring their home onto the market as we move closer to the winter months. So that's what's going down in and around the property market this week. Some interesting times indeed and it is easter this weekend folks and i wish you very much a safe and happy holiday time over this long weekend spend some time with loved ones and family and friends and i'll be back next week thanks for watching catch you then